Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> cute little baby. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're the Star Squad smile. Don't forget to hit subscribe! Huh? Where's my mom? I want to go home so bad! The school day took forever to get over, and all I want to do is like sit on my couch and eat snacks all night long. <gasps> There's my mom! Mom! Mom, it's me! Molly, watch out! I'm gonna hit you! Oh my gosh, Molly. Remember, safety, always look first. Sorry, Mom, I'm just so excited to get into the car because I just want to go home. Let's go home! Well, we can't go home yet. We have to go get baby Kira. What? No, I don't want to stop in there. Oh, come on, Molly. It'll only take me a minute. It's a minute that I'm not sitting on the couch eating snacks. Oh, sweet girl. Are you so sleepy? I just slept all afternoon. Whoa, she never takes naps. There's probably something wrong with her. Um, did your brain explode from learning all your ABCs and one, two, threes? No, I just feel very tired. Um, so did your sister say when she was coming home, Molly? No, she just said she's staying in the library at school and studying because she has a huge science test tomorrow and she's not getting anything less than 100. Okay, well, I guess she'll be home soon enough, hopefully in time for dinner. I'm going inside. I have a spot reserved for me on the couch with some snacks. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Molly. Hmm. This leftover pizza's delicious. Got any left for me? Of course I do, Molly. <laughs> um, so how was your day at school? It was great. Oh, no you don't, Molly. No eating pizza before dinner. You'll, you'll not be hungry at all. But Dad's eating pizza. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Honey, I can see you eating the pizza. Okay, yeah, I was really hungry. I had to chase a lot of bad guys at work today. Mom, yeah, he uses a lot of energy being a cop. <laughs> And then he refuels with donuts and more donuts and, um, some donuts. I, I don't feel good. Why are you running around all over the carpet like that? Because my tummy hurts. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Baby Kira, oh my gosh, are you okay? No, my tummy hurts. You're probably just hungry. Dinner will be soon. Here, I'll turn on the TV. You can just chill. Um, you know, I know what you mean, because, like, whether you go to, like, preschool or whether you go to regular school, it just, it's a lot on your brain. You probably are just tired and hungry. All right, um, what are we going to watch? Um, ooh, Family Life is on. This is a new episode. Come on, baby Kira, let's watch it. I still don't feel good. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on out here? Oh, baby Kira, what's wrong, honey? She said she has a stomach ache. She's probably just really hungry. It's been a while since snack time. I'm not hungry. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, okay, Molly, go get the, go get the puke bucket. Why me? Because, Molly, somebody has to get it. Where do we leave it? Oh, wait, I think it's upstairs. Found the bucket! Oh, this is gonna be so gross. I bet baby Kira caught the stomach bug or something. Ew! Molly, hurry up! She's about to throw up! Here you go. Here you go. Okay, I'm not holding the bucket. That's just, that, that's asking too much. Oh, baby Kira, do you feel better now? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, maybe she just ate something wrong. It's okay, baby Kira. Here, come on, lay on the couch and you'll feel all better. La, 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 la. Dad, why are you still eating all that pizza? Oh, that's super good. <laughs> Honey, baby Kira just threw up. What? Poor baby. Yeah, will you go sit with her while I make dinner? Of course I will. Poor sweet little thing. You might not want to want um want to eat that pizza around her because it'll probably make her pukey puke puke puke. Ugh, Molly, do you want to help me get stuff ready for dinner? Sure, mom. Ugh, it's not like I wanted to relax after school or anything. Come on, Molly. We all have to pitch in. 
Okay, but then seriously, can I just like lay on the couch? Because I'm so tired. My brain hurts from the math test today. Sure, Molly, no problem. Mom, can I have a soda? No, Molly, it's almost dinner. Can I have a Hershey's bar? No, Molly, it's almost dinner. Mom, can I have a Reese cup? Molly, it's almost dinner. I will feel so good, Dad. I got blow up. Uh-oh. Sounds like she's gonna have another throw-up session. Oh, ew! Um... Honey, don't eat that pizza around her. It's probably making her nauseous. Honey, I think baby Kira definitely has a stomach bug. Oh my gosh, I do not want the stomach bug. It is the worst ever. I have to agree, Molly. And the germs are just like, they're like super powered. You can clean your whole house and you can still get the stomach bug like two weeks later. I'm moving out. Uh, Molly, you live here. You can't move out. Poor girl. Everything's going to be okay, baby Kira. I don't think so. I, I don't feel good. Hello? Hey, Molly. What's up? Uh, kind of busy right now. Yeah, okay, whatever. Can you tell Mom I'll be home in a few minutes? And also, I want to know what's for dinner. Daisy, I just want to warn you, you probably don't want to come home. Like, ever. Yeah, you say that every time, Molly. Just so you know, I live there too when I'm coming home. No, you don't understand. This time, I really mean it. What are you talking about, Molly? Baby Kira, she's, she's got the stomach bug. Um, tell Mom I'm spending the night at Bookie's. <laughs> That's what I thought. Unfortunately, I've already been infected. Den, den, den! Well, I may be infected, but definitely been around the germs. So, um, good luck, Daisy, and um, have a nice night. You're the one that needs luck, Molly. Luck you're not sticking your head in a bucket and puking in about two hours. Bye! Bye. Uh, I think maybe we should take baby Kira to the hospital. She just keeps throwing up and can't stop. Well, you're the mom. You know what's best. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, honey. Did you come down with the stomach bug so quickly? Oh my gosh. Dad, say something. Are you alive? Must go to hospital. Okay, mom, you better get the car. I'll go get baby Kira. Thanks, Molly. I knew I could depend on you to help out. Baby Kira, come on. I'm taking you to the hospital. Uh. Oh, why you go to the hospital? You have to, baby Carrie. You have to. Come on. Oh, why you let you flee? They're going to make you feel all better. Come on. Okay, oh, Molly. Will you stay with me? Of course I will. And, um, well, here's the thing. Dad also caught the stomach bug. I don't think it's a stomach bug. You don't think it's a stomach bug? No, trust me. I've had plenty of them. They are awful. And you definitely have the stomach bug. <laughs> Come on, Molly, hurry up before your dad throws up again. Okay, baby Kira, get it. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to drop you on the ground. Oopsie. You sit in the back with dad in your car seat because you're infected. I don't feel so good. Okay, well, I put a barf bag in the back for both of you. So, um, basically just try to throw up in that, okay? Mom, hurry. We need to get them to the hospital and get them some medicine. Stat! I'm going as fast as I can, Molly. I don't want to get a ticket. It'd be worth it. <laughs> if they threw up in your car, you'd be really sad. Wow, the hospital's so packed tonight. Everybody's in here and sick. Hi, I'm Dr. Sullivan. Oh, help me. Oh my gosh, you look awful. Tell me about it. Okay, what are your symptoms? Stomach pain, throwing up, poo-poos. Oh, and, and I, I, I don't feel very good. I feel like weak and tired and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I don't think you're dying, um, but I am going to need to do some blood work. What? No, I'm afraid of needles. Sorry, but it's necessary to see what's going on. Now, this will just hurt a little tiny bit. Ha! Ah, why do you have an axe? Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's for my surgery. <laughs> Wrong equipment. Okay, let's just take a little bit of blood, okay? Oh my gosh. I hope I don't pass out. Wow, you really are afraid of needles. Oh, that hurt! All right, I got enough. Now I just gotta go test it. Be right back. I'll put this through to the lab, and then I'll go check on the next patient. Mm -hmm. Okay male 
He definitely has some sort of stomach issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, perfect. Oh, sweet little baby, are you feeling sick? I, I feel sick and also my dad is next door and he's sick too. Oh, both of you are sick. I bet it's the stomach flu. Yeah, I would bet money it's the stomach flu. Oop, test results are up. Oh my gosh, I would have never seen this coming. Oh, I thought it was a stomach bug, but no. No, it's much worse. Much, much worse. Excuse me, Mr. Acker. Can you make me feel better? I thought you had the stomach bug, but I was wrong, sir. What? Am I dying? Oh my god, am I dying? No, it appears you have food poisoning. What have you eaten in the last ten hours? Pizza. Oh, I can't even think about the pizza! Did your daughter next door eat the pizza too? Yeah, she had it for lunch at, at preschool. I packed her lunch myself. Well, you both have food poisoning. I'm going to go get you both some medicine, and you should feel a lot better soon. Okay, where's those nausea pills? Scratching. Diarrhea. Ooh, that might be a good one, too. Perfect. This should help my patients a whole lot. Here you go, Mr. Acker. Just go ahead and take these pills, and you're going to feel right as rain. Well, probably tomorrow, but... Are you going to make my daughter feel better, too? Yeah, but I'm going to give her a shot, unfortunately, because she's too little to swallow pills. Oh no, poor baby. Where's my wife? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm so sorry, baby Kira. There was nowhere to park. I don't care, Mom. I just got you here now. Oh, you must be Mrs. Acker. Yes, what's going on? What are those pills for? I'm so worried about my, my daughter and my husband. Well, these pills are because both of them have food poisoning. Food poisoning? Yep, looks like from pizza. Oh my gosh, I told Dan that pizza was old and throw it out. He never listens to me about that. Um, unfortunately, I have to give your daughter the medicine in a shot though. What? No, I'm fine. No, baby Kira, I'm really good at giving shots. I promise you'll hardly feel it. Just a quick little pinch. You can't swallow pills, so I have to give this to you, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Ow! See? And the pinch is over already. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Can I take them home now, doctor? You sure can. I expect both of them to start feeling better within a few hours. If they don't, give me a call and we can admit you in. Thank you so much, Dr. Sullivan. You're amazing. No problem. Have a good night. I'm on to my next patient. Can we go home? Oh, I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Yeah, as soon as I find Molly. Molly, what are you doing? Um, I found the vending machine and decided I wanted to buy everything. <laughs> oh, don't mention food. I'm gonna throw up. Whoopsie. <laughs> My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill, and if it rolled down that hill, oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge! Oh, man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette, or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah. Where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is rainbow day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me. I don't even own anything that's rainbow. Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're going to definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, where, Daisy? I've been here, Molly, making a snack. 
Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're going to all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa. If she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. Hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh, my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so wanted me to set them all? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. I'll see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Molly, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school! Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Molly, there's only three colors. Rainbows have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's gonna get expelled. Bam, bam, bam! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some... Some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I got to get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa. We all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on. Let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh, my God. Sarah, you you wore your Billie Eilish shirt. But, but, but today's rainbow day. And if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> You losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old, and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is Rainbow Day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as Rainbow Day. 
Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but, but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up Rainbow Day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But the only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on Rainbow Day. What? The, I, I... You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but... I have no choice. It's the rules on Rainbow Day. Ah, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Ah! I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, it must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. <laughs>
Wow, she's <gasps> adorable. She is quite cute. Hi, little baby. Hi. Oh, I think we should name her Molly. Well, we can't name her yet. Maybe, maybe someone is actually missing her. Uh, maybe, but I, I want to keep her. Dan, we need to call the police. Okay, but can we keep her if the police say we can? Yes, I think she'd be a great addition to our family. I agree. Hi, Molly. Hi, hi. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, well, it's not really an emergency. It's kind of the best thing ever happened to us, but, um, well, someone delivered a box and... Oh, wow. Did you get a package from Amazon? What'd you get? Did you get that new shampoo? Oh, uh, no. My wife ordered that, though. But listen, there was a baby inside the box. What? Are you serious? Okay, I'll be right over. Uh, you need to know our address, right? Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, Brookhaven Lane. Seriously? Your address is one, two, three, four? Hey, I didn't make it up. The town decided it. But yeah, it's a pretty easy address to remember. I'll be right there. Oh, hi, little baby. Oh, I so hope I get to be your mommy. Oh, Dan, I think she's hungry. Okay, well, I'm um, panicking. What should I do? I wasn't expecting a baby. I can't exactly feed her pizza. Hello? Police? Open up! Okay, you can come on in! All right. Where's the baby? Oh, I'm holding her over here. Oh, she's so adorable! Oh, uh, yeah, you can have a seat if you want to. <laughs> Make yourself at home, police officer. Well, I checked on the way over and no one is missing a baby. This baby hasn't even been reported missing. So maybe someone delivered it to you on purpose. Really? Like the stork or something? I don't know. But this baby has not been missing. It hasn't been reported at all. So if you want to adopt her, you can. Really? We'd love to adopt her. Aww. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Molly. Yeah, isn't that a great name? Aw, that's an adorable name. Well, if you need me for anything else, let me know. Just call 911 and I'll come to the rescue. Wow, I wasn't expecting a song. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I sort of moonlight as a singer. Oh, you're very good at it. Okay, back to the baby. Good luck with your singing career or being a police officer or whatever you do. Bye! Okay, well, I guess I better go on the computer and fill out the paperwork. <laughs> if we're going to adopt this baby, we need to make it legal. <laughs> I love this cat video. Dan, focus! We're trying to adopt Molly here. It's very important. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted by the cat video. <laughs> it was super funny. Okay, that paperwork's been filed. She's our daughter. Oh, Molly, I can't believe it. Turned out to be, well, an extraordinary day. Yeah, here we were wishing that something really awesome would happen, and now it did. Well, I guess if you wish for something, it really can come true. Yeah, it really can. Oh, it's getting very late. You need to go night-night. Come on, little baby. I'll feed you a bottle, and then I'll put you to bed. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Oh, good night, sweet Molly. I'll see you in the morning. Laura, I can't believe we became parents today. I know, right? Ugh, but being a mom is very tiring. Good night, Dan. Good night, Laura. <coughs> well, so much for going to bed. Yeah, I'll get her. Molly, Molly, <gasps> Molly! Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where's her stroller? Where's the baby? Oh my God! Oh, Dan, the baby's missing. Dan. What? Huh? huh what? I left the stroller here, and, and, and now it's gone. Wait, you put the baby in a stroller? What about a crib? Dan, we don't have a crib yet. We haven't even gone to the store. We weren't even expecting a baby. So I just had a stroller left over from my cousin visiting and she left it here. And so I thought, well, that'd be a perfect place for the baby to sleep. And now the baby is gone. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Maybe the baby just rolled away. I mean, the stroller does have wheels. No, I locked the wheels. And where's she gonna roll? The door was closed. I don't know, but... Wait a minute. I hear her. Sounds like it's coming from downstairs. Come on. M Molly? Are you watching Brookhaven High? Molly? How did, how did she get down here? I don't know, but she turned on the TV. She seems to like Brookhaven High. What? She's a baby. She couldn't do that. Uh, she's no ordinary baby. Well, I don't know, Dan, but it does seem kind of strange. Okay, Molly, it's time for a nice, delicious dinner. Ooh, that smells good. Like Thanksgiving. No, I don't want to eat that. Oh, it's so good for you. Come on. You will love it. No, thank you, yucky. Molly, it's very healthy for you so you grow up big and strong. Here you go, Molly. Mmm, doesn't that smell good? Ew, I don't want it. <laughs> That's much better. Wait a minute, did she just turn her, her turkey dinner into ice cream? She's no ordinary child. Well, you sort of have a point, Dan. Mmm, ice cream, yum! Oh, look at her, she's still crawling. Yeah, but she needs to learn how to walk, Laura, it's time. Okay, Molly, watch Mommy. Watch Mommy, see how I walk? See? <laughs> so cool, right? Don't you want to walk? No, I don't want to walk. You have to walk, Molly. Come on. Just try it. It's going to be fun. I crawl. I, I crawl. I I don't know. I crawl. No, come on. Walking's so fun. Just try it one time. And if you don't like it, you never have to try to walk again. Well, Dan, I wouldn't tell her that. I mean, she eventually has to walk. What's she going to crawl to prom? Uh, yeah, good point. Come on, just try it, Molly. You're gonna like walking. Okay, I try once. Oh, she's standing up, Laura. Okay, now just one foot in front of the other, Molly. Whee! Whee! Um, Dan, she's walking really fast. I keep telling you, she's no ordinary child. I dig into things. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Molly. Trust me. You're going to learn how to to walk just soon enough. Uh, I think she already knows how to walk, Dan. I think she just has to learn how to not run into things. <sniffs> wow, all that fast walking really made her tired. Well, time for a nap then. Oh, man, I forgot my lunch money. Give me your lunch. Um, I could share it with you if you want, or you could borrow the money from me, but I need to have lunch because I have gym after, and I'm going to be super hungry. No, I don't want half your lunch, and I don't want your money. I just want your lunch. Um, I don't... I don't want you to take my lunch. Please, please don't take my lunch. Uh, hello? I'm taking your lunch. Give it to me. But... But that's my lunch. Not anymore, loser. Now it's my lunch. What? What is this? What? She just stole Brookie's lunch? I'm really hungry. I, 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 I need that food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Brookie, it's, it's going to be okay. I, I'll help you get your lunch back. You will? How? She's the biggest bully in school. Don't worry about a thing. Watch this. Here you go, Brookie. What? Uh, how, how did you do that? <gasps> You're a witch! She's an evil witch! I am not a witch. How did you do that, Molly? Never mind how I did it. Here's your lunch. I'm going to get you detention forever because you're a witch! Ugh, she's so annoying. Come on, let's have lunch. Do you want to share with me, Molly? Nah, I brought my own. Molly, that's not a healthy lunch. Mmm. But it's a delicious one. Ooh, they've got pizza too. Oh, that looks so good. After I finish this, of course. What'd you get? A cheeseburger and some fries and stuff. Mmm. Well, I'm glad you got your lunch and Sarah didn't. Yeah, she is a total witch. Yep, I saw it with my own eyes. Witch. Evil witch. I know. I couldn't believe it either. But it's the truth. 
Mmm. This new ice cream shop has the most delicious ice cream in the whole world. Ah! Help! I don't know how to swim! Oh my gosh! That little kid is drowning! Don't worry! I'll save you! Ah! I can't get out! Okay, hang on to me. Hang on to me, okay? No! You're not it. It's gonna be okay. Just get on my shoulders, okay? Ah! Oh my gosh! You, you, you just saved that little girl! She's a superhero! Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, it's just kind of something I do, you know? Like, I walk around town and, um, well, I I just help people who need help. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Oh, gee, thanks. Like, I, 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 I was just being myself. Yourself is pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lily, you're so adorable, sweet little girl. I think your daddy's going to be home from work soon. Molly, Lily, I'm home from work. See? <laughs> I can just tell when people are coming to the house even before they get here. Something in my brain just tells me. Oh, there's my girls. Oh, my family. Hey, Luke, how was work today? It was good. You know, <laughs> I just saved some people, and but I'm not a superhero like you. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, and you're my superhero. And Lily's too. What's for dinner? I was thinking pizza. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, the superhero phone is ringing. Here, Luke, take the baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Superhero Molly. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm getting takeout again. Sorry, but duty calls, honey. Bye! We love you, Mommy! Oh, man, it's raining. I just got my hair done. Honey, I'm home! Oh, there you are, dear. Oh, looking as beautiful as... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to your teeth? Ah, one of the villains knocked them out again. Oh, dear. <laughs> Are you ever going to give up being a superhero? You're getting old now. We're both in our 70s. I feel fit as a fiddle. Oh, you've got some groceries, I see. Nah, this is the bag with my teeth in them so the dentist can put them back in. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping you would have stopped and got me some Maalox. <laughs> my stomach's kind of upset. Oh, Luke. <laughs> you and your stomach. Oh, I'm just getting too old. Nonsense! You're not that old! I am, though. Oh, I could die at any moment, actually. Oh. Luke! Luke! Say something! Oh, my time is coming to an end. But it looks like you have super genes, Molly, and you don't age, so you'll be around long after me. <laughs> Luke! I can't live without you, Luke. You're the love of my life. <laughs> Seriously, Luke, say something, anything. Oh, no, I've outlived him. I'm going to outlive everybody because I'm a superhero and I have superhero genes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Dad died. But, Mom, you still look like you're 25. I know. It's just... It's my super genes. It basically means that I'm going to outlive everyone. Mom, I'm just sad that dad died. I know, honey. I'm sad too. Your dad was a wonderful person. Mom, I I have a confession to make. What? What is it? Um, well, for one, I think you should have your teeth put back in. Don't worry. I saved them in a bag, see? <laughs> I'm ready to go to the dentist any day now. Once we get the funeral and everything over. Ew, Mom, that's gross. Your teeth are in a bag? Yeah, well, I had to keep them if the dentist is going to put them back in. Um, Mom, I've got to show you something. Okay, I'm I'm watching. What? She's running super fast! Lily? Oh my gosh! Sh sh she's a... That's right, Mom. I'm a superhero. I'm probably going to live forever, too. Lily, that's great news! We'll never be alone, and we can save the entire town of Brookhaven from from villains! That's right, Mom. I just hope I keep all my teeth. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a part of the job. 
Your dad would be so proud. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. Today, Dan and I are playing Escape Toby's Hospital. Holy guacamole, this looks creepy. I know, right? Let's press play and see what happens next. Whoa, where's my hair? Oh my gosh, I'm starting this game bald. Apparently, Toby has shaved my head, Dan. Ah, you have no hair. You look, you look still beautiful as always. Oh, that's nice, Dan. Am I literally gonna have to play this entire game with no hair? Where's my hair? Okay, hold on. I'll be back in a minute with hair, hopefully. Whoa, Laura, that's not how your hair normally is. I know, I just went for something a little bit different. Different is right, it's blue. Well, normally it's rainbow colored. Okay, well, I guess change is good and you still look really pretty. Oh, thank you. And also that other hair wouldn't load into this game, so I just didn't want to be bald. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right, so we've got to escape Toby's hospital. Toby is a psycho. We need to find the key so we can escape this evil place. Okay, a key. Hmm, where can I find a key? I don't know. Um, all right, maybe down here through these doors or something? What? Oh, there's a key, guys. Dan, look, I found a key. I can't grab it, though. Why can't I grab it? It won't let me grab it. Wah! Why can't I? I need to get out of here, peeps. All right, finally I got it. Uh, oh, the doctors found me? What? Ah! And I'm running so slow. What is wrong with me? How come the doctor can run super fast? I don't know, maybe he's got extra long legs or something. Or maybe he did experiments to turn him into a superhero, but then they backfired and he turned into that creepy guy instead. Um, yeah, okay. Ah, he's gonna get me, Dan! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't know where the exit is. Um, I think it's right there at the top of the doorway that said exit. Oh, oops. All right, guys, I don't know if he's still chasing me, but I think he probably is. And he's gonna trap me in this room and I just know it. Oh my God, no, I don't wanna die. All right, can I go in here? Oh my gosh, it's an operating room, guys. This is not good. Oh wait, I think I've found another way. Oh my gosh, there's the exit! There's the exit! <gasps> Dan, I made it! OMG, that was a close one. All right, let's escape to this vent. Good idea. Whew. I was so scared there for a minute. I bet. That was scary. I thought I was gonna lose my girlfriend forever. Ah! Ew, we're in the sewer! Ugh, I think I'd rather be dead. Well, good thing you said that because you just died. <laughs> Would you like to buy the Dr. Morph? Um, watch this guy's gonna be hilarious. It was really expensive, so it better work. Okay, that just cost me 400 Robux. And why am I, okay, wait, become Toby. <gasps> Laura, hurry, the doctor, he's coming. <laughs> you can't get away from me now, Dan. L L Laura, where'd you go? Laura, okay, wait, I think he just died. Nope, he's back. Wait a minute. Did Laura become Toby? <laughs> I did. <laughs> no, not my beautiful girlfriend. Maybe that wig she was wearing was actually evil. Yes, it was designed by Toby. Laura, seriously, quit messing around. That's too creepy. Who said I was messing around? Oh my gosh, are you going to be Toby forever? I may be. Look at my beautiful face. Don't you love it? Um, well, you're pretty evil looking. Well, I thought I was your girlfriend, so you should love me no matter what. Okay, yeah, but now you're an evil doctor, and that's just, that changes things. We have to break up. What? Whatever. I don't think you really love me if you don't love me looking like this. But have your face torn off, Laura. Holy guacamole. Yeah, okay, I am pretty scary looking. Guys, have you played this game yet? Slam that like button if you have. And leave me a comment below if you've actually become Toby. Um, 
<laughs> it's pretty creepy. OMG, look, half of his face is like, I don't know, burned or something. And then look at his teeth. It's like he's got black teeth, like an extra set of teeth or something. I'm gonna get a jetpack and I'm getting out of here. Whatever, Dan, you can never escape me. <laughs> uh, that was a little too realistic, Laura. Where's the real Toby? Do you think he's in here? Oh yeah! Now, how are you gonna tell who's who? I don't know. How am I supposed to tell who's who? All right, wait, we have to disable something. Disable this. Uh oh Danny's right behind me! Who's who? I can't tell! <laughs> Uh-oh. Wow! Ah! He killed me! Oh. So the first thing you need to do, like, super fast... Oh, he's gonna come out! He kicked the door open. How rude. Why will this button not push? That's not fair! I die, like, right away. Because the button doesn't want to push. Just push it! I'm trying to push it, but the button doesn't want to. What do you mean? The button doesn't have a brain! You do, though. Push the button. I'm trying, Dan. I'm trying. Oh my god, I finally pushed it, and now the doctor's- Ah, got me! Oh, this part is so hard. Yeah, I know. I'm just standing up here bored waiting for you. What? All right, did the button stay on or something? Oh, the button did stay on! Okay, guys, now we just have to try to escape up through this vent. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's right behind me, guys. I bet he's right below me. Yes, guys. Ah, this is so scary. He's gonna follow me the entire way. What? All right, I made it, I made it, I made it. Okay, I'm gonna become Toby again. You can't fit in the vent if you're Toby. You're too big. <laughs> Sounds like monsters out there. Find a weapon in this room to fight them. Um, okay. Dan, did you play this game before me? What? No. Yeah, because you know exactly exactly where the weapons are and everything. Toby doesn't like that. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. You're creeping me out. All right, kill the zombies. This should be easy as Toby because I'm an evil monster. Actually, no, they're all biting me. Ah, I'm going to become a zombie, Toby. Ooh. Goodbye. What's this? Whoa! Ow! Oh my gosh, guys. You can slip on the bananas in this game, on the banana peels. That is hilarious. Yeah, it was pretty funny to watch you fall down. Gee, thanks, Dan. Oh! Whoa, I didn't fall on that one. Thank goodness. I just slipped. Oh, Dan! You fell to certain death. That's what you get for teasing me. Ha ha ha! Whoa! Police line, do not cross! Whoa! Get through the dungeon obstacles. Um, yeah! There's definitely some obstacles in here! Ow! I got totally hit in the booty with that arrow or whatever. Dan's just flying through. He's like invincible. That's right. I'm the invincible cool boyfriend. Who died on the saws? Yeah, okay. You're not invincible. Where do we go now? Hmm. No. No. Ooh, I have to pull a lever or something. <laughs> Cha-ching! Okay, I'm out of here. Bye, Dan! What? Don't you dare leave me in these dungeons! Let's be a bad girlfriend! Ooh, okay, it's a rope. I've got this. Whew, I'm just a little afraid of heights, but it's all right. Ah! See why I'm afraid? I died. <laughs> so, guys, do you like my new hairstyle? If you do, let me know in the comments section below. Or do you miss my rainbow hair? Laura, I love you no matter what, but I do miss your rainbow hair a little bit. Whoa, these axes are serious business right now. Wow, this is cray cray. Come on, Laura, you can do this. I'm afraid of the hot lava, though. What if I die? And what if you make it? Yeah, what if I don't? I just got chopped, my head chopped off with an axe. This is the obby that never ends. Because my girlfriend is slow. I'm not slow, Dan. Yeah, you are. You're very slow at obbies. Whatever. I'm doing my best. Ooh. This is really hard. Like, if you're not nicer to your girlfriend, though, you're going to get on Santa's naughty list. Whoa, whoa. No! Oh, <laughs> I walked off the edge. All right. Can I buy a skip the stage? Oh, I can. Are you seriously going to spend 44 Robux to skip the stage? Cha-ching! I just did. Oh boy, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. 
I know, but that part was really hard. I couldn't see anything. Oh no, not more of these axes. Whoa. Now where are we supposed to go? Through here, I guess. Um, yeah, don't step on that, though. Uh-oh. They should sell, like, a, a lantern or something through this part. I can't see anything. Wait, is this the way I already came? I don't know where I am, guys. I can't see anything. Oh, that's the only light you get down in the dungeons. You have to try to find your way out. Well, this is the way I came from, I think. I don't know, guys. I can't see anything. I'm so lost right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the way I came from. And that's a wall. So, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you're going the wrong way, Laura. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Dan. You are such my hero. Oh, will you make me some cookies later for it? I'll think about it. Oh my gosh, there's all these prisoners in here. It's kind of sad, actually. Well, if they did the crime, they have to do the time. Uh, this is Toby's hospital. I'm pretty sure they didn't do anything wrong. Toby's just crazy. Whoa. Laura, I think we made it to the next park. Come on. Oh, we're gonna get out of here. Everything's gonna be okay. Um, I wouldn't say that. Oh no, we're back in this crazy hospital and... And Toby's here! Uh-oh! Better run! Laura, watch out for the fires! I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, Laura! Run faster! I'm running as fast as I can! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can escape this apocalypse! Ah! Oh, I made it! Thank goodness! And I did it while I had great hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because fashion's the most important thing. Totally. Whoa. Whoa. Watch out for the broken boards. Don't worry, I've got my rocket. <laughs> I'm cool. We have to pull the levers to get through. Oh, boy, look at all these lasers. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I definitely got um, killed by one. Oopsie. Oh, I keep jumping there. All right, apparently you can't jump right there. Maybe you have to go this way? Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. I bet these boards are going to break if you stand on them too long. This is actually a hard part of the obby. All right, I made it to the lever one. I think there's, oh, yep, there's one more, guys. One more. Yeah, but if you die at any stage here, you have to start all over again from the beginning. Like the beginning of the obby? No, but the beginning of the lasers. Oh boy, this is really hard. Don't worry, Laura. You can do it. I believe in you. What is all this? Oh my gosh, I have to climb and there's lasers? Don't worry, it's not as hard as it looks. See? Okay, where do we go to get to the laser? Oh, over here. Okay. And now pull this lever. The door is open. Yay! All right, I don't want to step on a laser, so I'm just, like, being really careful. Because I don't want to have to do that all over again. You got it, Laura! Hooray! Come on, the door is open! Where do we go to get to the door? Oh, boy. Zombie patience. Oh, my gosh. These look like the doctor's victims. We must avoid them or they will kill us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? Slip on a banana peel? Oh, man. Whoa, I can't see anything. Dan, there's some scary looking guys out here that definitely want to kill me. I'm pretty sure. It's okay, Laura. I'm right here with you. Oh my gosh, I don't like them. They have like weird Stranger Things mouths. Oh God, oh God, oh God. No, don't kill me, please, please, please. Oh, they're everywhere. They're definitely everywhere. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, no. Oh man. Oh, I almost made it to the end, too. Yep, you almost did, but not this time. I know, I know. Let's try again. Let's try not to die. Okay, I can't, I can't see. Ooh, oh, boy. This is, like, really dark all of a sudden. Like, it wasn't this dark the last time I played. 
Okay, I gotta go all the way over. Then I think I can stay here and be safe, I think. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Because you can't see where you're going until they're like already attacking you. All right, I think it's good to go. Oh my gosh, guys, look how close he is to me. I wish I could see where the next one is. Bro, I'm not even touching them. Well, good for you, Roblox player. Not all of us are that lucky. What? No! Oh, he munched on my arm again. This time, though, is going to be a tie. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I accidentally fell on a banana peel right at the beginning. Oopsie. Stay away from me, you creepy zombie victim hospital patients. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It was so close. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. He's just standing there. Go away. He's frozen. He's frozen in time. Okay, that was weird. They're, they're all frozen. What? It's like some sort of game glitch, but I don't care because I won and that's good. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Oh, be quiet, Dan. Wait, which way are we going now? Well, not back there with them. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, finally. Oh, the lights are back on. All right, I think we're supposed to go down these stairs. This might be the way to our freedom. Come on. Oh, you have it so easy. You bought the jetpack. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think I might need a jetpack, too, because... um. This part looks really hard because the air conditioning unit like blows you backwards and why is it that Dan is always standing at the other end waiting for me? Because I'm amazing at obbies. Well, that's because you cheated. This is the best time to buy a jetpack. Ah, uh, okay, I give in. I'll buy the jetpack. Maybe I should become Toby with the jetpack on my back. What do you guys think? Should I do that? All right, I'm gonna become Toby. And now, how do I put the jetpack on my back? Oh, like this, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome. You look like a flying Toby. It's creepy. Oh, man. I don't know how to use the jetpack, so <laughs> that's kind of a problem. All right, let's see how I make this thing fly. All right. Like this? Whoa, oh my gosh. All right, I'm doing pretty good. I'm stuck, though. I'm literally stuck on a pipe <laughs> up here in the sky. Ah, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, the jetpack is so frustrating. I don't know how to make it work. Laura, you should not be buying jetpacks. Yeah, okay, well, now you tell me. It's backfiring! I should have bought the hoverboard. It would have been easier to use. By the time you figure out how to use the jetpack, shh, you be quiet. Um, uh, okay, maybe if I just, like, lower down a little bit. Ah, okay. I give up with the jetpack. It's not working for me. I'm just gonna go like you're supposed to and not cheat. It's not cheating if it, okay. I, I don't know how to help you get over here. I, ah! ah! I'm gonna cry. I can't finish this stage. If you think this is hard, wait till you get to the boss battle at the end. Wait, what? There's a boss battle? Are you serious? Yup. I'm sure we'll have to fight Toby at the end. Oh my gosh, no! Wait guys, I almost made it, I almost made it. Ah, oh, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it! <laughs> Yay! Okay, now push this button. Why, what will happen? We'll be able to get across, that's what. Oh no, not more of these air conditioners. Wee! oh my goodness. I'm freezing, I should've worn my winter coat to play this game. Whoop. Yes! We made it. We made it. So happy right now. All right, we're going up into the air conditioning vents. Hopefully this leads outside, guys. I don't know what to do if it doesn't. I, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry and cry and probably cry some more. Watch out. The water's electrocuted. It has electric eels in it. Seriously? I don't know, but it looks like you die in it, so just trust me. <laughs> Whoops, no. Okay, I think we just have to go over here the entire time. Like, this is the bridge that actually works. Okay, guys, if you're playing the game, this is the glass bridge that actually works. Dan, what are you doing? 
try to show you that you can use a jetpack everywhere in this game. Oh, aren't you just so smart? I guess I stink it. Ah! Using jetpacks! Whoa! Ow, ow, ow. It's okay. I'm okay. All right, where do we go now? Ooh, up into this air duct, I think. Um, all right, there's a big fan. We don't want to go down there because we'll die. So I think we have to go up here. Whoa, whoa. And then, ooh, that made me dizzy. <laughs> we're going around in circles 50 million times. But we're gonna escape Toby at the end, right? Um, I think so. I hope so, maybe. I really hope there wasn't like a switch I had to push or something before I climbed all the way up here. <laughs> oh my goodness. That would probably make me kind of mad, actually. Whoa. Dan, how'd you beat me up here? Jetpack. Oh my goodness. Dan, how about you're not allowed to use a jetpack for the whole rest of the game? Why? I bought it. Yeah, because you're making me look bad. What? Oh my god. Actually, you could use a jetpack here, I bet. Watch this, Dan. Watch you die? No, I don't want to watch my girlfriend die. Um, it's not, not letting me fire up the jetpack. Ah, my jetpack won't fire! Laura, I think you should just put your jetpack away. Just pretend you didn't even own the jetpack. Okay, well, you just got hit by a boulder and you didn't even die. I don't understand that. What are you, like, invincible or something? Yeah, something like that. All right, we've got to deactivate all these lasers. I'm pretty sure that my boyfriend is a robot, guys. He doesn't even die when a boulder hits him. All right, I think I disabled it. I hope. Oh yeah, I did. Sweet! Is this gonna be the boss battle? Yup, pretty much. Oh no. Oh God, it's a big Toby! Wait a minute, did I just kill him already? Uh, no, there's more than one, Laura. Wait, what? No! Ah! <laughs> there's so many of them! And I lost my hair! Wait, why did I lose my hair again? Boom! Apparently, guys, I just, I can't keep hair in this game. I don't know why. Look at me running right at you. I'm not afraid of you, Toby. Not anymore. Wait, where'd he go? Okay, he's sneaking up behind me, guys. He's sneaking up behind me. Boom, gotcha. You're not sneaking up behind me. Oh, no. Ba-bam. Nope, I don't think so. Laura, you almost won. That's amazing. Wait, where's some more? Okay. Ah, he's coming right up on me. Wait a minute. Are you serious? I shot him. How'd that happen? And more? Seriously? <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh. I defeated Toby. I want to trick people now, though, and think that, um, <laughs> make them think that, that they have to defeat me. <laughs> oh, that is funny. She thinks she has to defeat me. How about this guy? Clips, come here. Come here. Uh oh, I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. <laughs> they think that I'm actually Toby. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Laura, are you done torturing them? Um, yeah, I think so. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to hit subscribe, guys, to help me get to 100,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, look, I got an award. I love it. I love it. Dan? Dan? Yeah, I'm jumping super high. Wee! All right, guys, we love you. You're the best fans in the world. See you next time. Bye! Molly, I loved that dance class. I learned how to pee well wet even better than before. Yeah, it was super fun. I like bouncing around and being like, boing, 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 boing. Molly, that wasn't a part of dance class. It was still super fun. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, look, someone's at the door. Molly, we didn't ask mom if we could play. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. I have to ask my mom before I can play, okay? Whoa. Both of you have the same name, kitty girl. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, Molly, can you come outside and play? 
I'm sorry right now, kitty girl. I have to ask my mom. I just got home from dance class. Um, okay. See you. Bye. Mom? Mom? Okay, I'm starving and she's not making dinner. Hey, girls. How was dance class? It was good, Mom. Um, what are you doing? I'm reading a book. I see that, but what about dinner? I'm starving! Girls, leave your mom alone. She's trying to do a little bit of reading. You know, she needs to relax and enjoy enjoy summer too a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're funny, Dad. What about what about dinner though? I could make dinner. <laughs> no, Dad. I would rather go hungry, seriously, because no offense or anything, but you're a super bad cook. Hey, I'm not that bad a cook. Actually, Dad, I have to agree with Molly on this one. Your cooking is stinky. Hey! I'm not that bad of a cook. Yes, you are, Dad! Mom! 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 Oh my goodness, Molly, what is it? What's for dinner? Um, I'm thinking about making cheeseburgers. What do you think? Yeah! That sounds delicious. Can we eat it right now? Uh, no, I have to cook it first. You can't eat, um, ground beef raw. Ew, that's gross. But I'm starving! Could I have a cookie? No, Molly, but you can have a piece of watermelon. Okay. Can I have a cookie, too? No, Molly, you can't have a cookie. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm! That was delicious, Mom. Can I have another piece? Molly, you're not going to be hungry for dinner. Why don't you just wait? It'll be done in about ten minutes. I'm working at my summer reading program. I'm working on my summer reading program. Molly, are you seriously teasing me right now? Molly, do not tease your sister. You should be working on your summer reading program too. Um, I just want to say that the teacher giving us homework during summer vacation is absolutely ridiculous. Don't they know it's summer vacation? I love reading. I like reading too. I just don't want to have a list of things that I have to read during my summer vacation. Oh, it's supposed to be vacation, not workation. <laughs> workation. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. Maybe what you should read is the dictionary. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that it's not even a real word. If you read more of the dictionary, you'd know that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, let me know when dinner's ready. I'm going to go play on my computer. Molly, why don't you do some of your reading? Okay, uh, sure. The brilly colored unicorn, the brilly colored unicorn. Do, 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 Whoa. Flying unicorn got 9 million, um, 597,000 in some hits. Oh, my gosh. You can totally see why, because it's amazing. Molly, didn't your mom say you should do some reading? But, Dad, look it. The brightly colored unicorn's on! Oh, Molly. Well, come on. Dinner's ready. Okay, Dad. Coming. Daisy, please put your book away. It's family time. But this is the best part of the book! Okay, well, you can read more of it after dinner if you want. Okay. Wow, these hamburgers smell delicious! And watermelon, too? That's right. Oh, Daisy, you were supposed to say something you were thankful for. Oopsie, sorry. I was really hungry for all the pirouette dance class. Um, okay, I'm thankful that I learned pirouette so good at dance class. Dear, you're supposed to say what you're thankful for. Oh, sorry. Oh, these, these cheeseburgers smelled so delicious. I'm thankful for delicious cheeseburgers. Okay, Molly, your turn. Um, ah, uh, uh, oh, you can't think of one thing you're thankful for, Molly? I'm thankful that I got to eat watermelon before dinner because it tasted delicious. Is that everything, Molly? You can't think of anything else? Mom, do I have to think of something else? I'm hungry! I guess not. Hmm, let me see. What am I thankful for? I'm thankful that I had the best day being able to read a new book. I don't get to relax that often. In. Yeah, because you're the mom. Moms always have to cook dinner. and Hey, dads help too. Yeah, dads too. Now I'm going to eat a cheeseburger. Mm. Oh, that was delicious. Molly, that was my drink. 
Sorry. Mm. Ooh, I want some more watermelon. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It's the perfect summer treat. Well, don't eat too much watermelon because I was thinking that we could all go to the ice cream shop. What? The ice cream shop? Are you serious? Yeah, I thought we could all go there as a family in the car. But don't we have to get ready for bed? You can get ready for bed when we get back. Woohoo! Let's go, Molly! I want to sit in the front seat. No, girls. Your dad and I are sitting in the front. Fine. Oops, I turned the light off. <laughs> hey, who turned the light out? I can't see anything. It was Daisy. Molly! Oh, man. Dad's driving. Don't worry, girls. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Are you sure you don't want to drive, Mom? I know Dad's kind of a bad driver. Hey, what's this all about? First, I'm a bad cook. Now, I'm a bad driver. Stop teasing me. Okay, Dad. Okay. We won't tease you. It's bad enough I gotta drive this hot pink car. Ugh, it's hard being the only guy that lives in the household. Oh, no. Did somebody forget to put gas in the car? Oopsie. We're not going very fast. That's because Molly ate too many cheeseburgers. Um, uh, well, I don't know, girls. I, I don't think the car works. Oh, no. Is it out of gas or do I need to go to the mechanic? Oh, man. Okay. Maybe I should drive, Dad. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Dad? What? Dad! I think I made the car work. Dad, wait for us. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, you're not allowed to sit in the front seat. Yeah, I can sit in the front seat. Ugh, fine, Molly. As long as we get to the ice cream shop, I don't care. Dear, do you think it's time for us to buy a new car? No, no, no. <laughs> I just had to put some gas in it. It seems to be working just fine now. Uh, I had my eye on a minivan. <laughs> don't make me laugh. You'd never drive a minivan, would you? W would you? No, not really. But it would be convenient for all of our kids. Yeah, that's true. We do have a lot of kids. Dad, you just ran a red light! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting used to driving this hot pink car. Excuses, excuses, Dad. A real Miss Dale will be Dale yet? Yep, we're here. Yeah! Ben's Ice Cream. The best ice cream shop in the world. Excuse me, are you guys done yet? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Molly, don't be rude. Sorry, okay, I'm gonna go over to this window. Hi, welcome to Ben's Ice Cream. We serve up delicious ice cream. What can I get for you? We have strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Strawberries, hey, you're cutting the line. Don't be rude. Okay, normally I get strawberry because it's my favorite, but I just want to mix it up a little and get chocolate. Ooh, this looks delicious. I wonder what kind I should get. I got strawberry. Whoa, Mom, that looks delicious. That's normally what I get, but I decided to get chocolate with chocolate sauce. Me too, Molly, me too. Come on, Daisy, let's sit on this bench and eat our ice cream. Okay. I love our summer night routines because... Sometimes my parents surprise us and take us for ice cream and stuff. Even though it's getting close to our bedtime, we still get to go. It's so amazing. Mom, I love you. Aw, I love you too. Who wants to go fishing? <laughs> I don't. I want to get on the Ferris wheel though. Mom, can I? Sure, Molly. Just be careful. I will, Mom. I think. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Bye, family. Molly, you're going on your Ferris wheel by yourself? You bet I am. Do, 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 do. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Do, do, do. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button. And guys, if you're going to buy some Robux in Roblox, make sure you use the Toy Hero star code so you can be one of our number one fans, guys. That code is...
Toy Heroes. So when you're buying your Robux, guys, just type in Toy Heroes. That's awesome, guys. Thanks for your support. You're the best fans in the world. Whoa, look at this view. So amazing. It's so amazing. Molly, whatever you do, don't jump in the water. Why not? Because, Molly, you'll get grounded for pretty much ever. That's right, Molly. You really will get grounded pretty much forever. Haha. <laughs> Where's Dad? I don't see him. I see Mom, and I see Daisy on the bench over there. Oh, there's Daddy's fishing! Dad, have you caught anything yet? Um, no. I'm good luck, Dad. I'll stand next to you. Thanks, Daisy. I want to stand next to Dad, too. Okay, I'm getting off the Ferris wheel. Mom, are you still eating your ice cream? Yep, it's super delicious, too. Dad, I'll go in there and get a kit fish for you. Molly, get out of there. You can't oh, You can't get a fish by swimming at it. <laughs> I did. Look it. I just got one for you, Dad. I think that was me. Nope, watch this. I'm going to swim out there. Here I go. Cast your line, Dad. Here comes a fish. I'm chasing him right towards you. Here he comes. Here he comes. You missed him, Dad. No, I didn't. <laughs> See that, Dad? I'm hoping you catch one. I love summer with my family. We get ice cream and go fishing. Come on, Daisy. Let's go swimming in the water. Be careful, girls. Don't worry, Dad. I'm an expert swimmer. Come on, Daisy. Molly, I'm not wearing my swimsuit. Who cares? It's nice and warm out. We can swim in our clothes. Nobody will, nobody will care. Ah, I love swimming in the lake. Me too, Molly. Whee! Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. Girls, come on. It's almost time for bed. Oh, already? Yeah, it's way past your bedtime. Come on. You got to go have ice cream and go swimming. You girls were pretty spoiled today. Ha, yeah, I know. Pretty soon it'll be getting dark out. I know, Dad. And then, and then we'll definitely have to be in bed by then. That's right. Uh, Molly, don't you want to let your mom sit in the front seat? Okay, I guess, I guess she can. Oh, thanks, Molly. Molly, I'm the grown-up. I sit in the front. Okay, Mom. Okay, come on. Coming, I'm getting in the car, too. Come on, dear. Uh, I'm just waiting for the sunset. Ew, did somebody toot in the car? <laughs> Sorry. Mom, we didn't even have beans for dinner. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to. Oh, boy, this is my family. Yeah, our family's pretty awesome. Dad, you ran another red light. Oops, Sorry. Are we home yet? No, Molly. It's getting dark out. I know. We stayed out really late. Now I need you girls to go and get in bed and, oh, and brush your teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth. We're home! Thanks for digging us for ice cream and letting us go swimming and stuff. You're welcome, girls. I had to brush my teeth and then go to bed because that's what my parents said to do. Wow, Molly. I'm so glad you listened. Do, 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 do. Mom, can I have a cookie? No, Molly. You already had ice cream and watermelon. You don't need cookies. Okay. Brushing my teeth. Brushing my teeth. Brush, brush, brushing. Brushing my teeth. Mom, can you come and tuck me in for, um, for a good night? Sure, Molly. I'd be happy to. Are you in your bed? Uh-huh. Almost. Ah, my super comfy bed. Good night, Molly. Sweet dreams. I love you. Good night, Mom. I love you, too. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Molly. What's that? 
That's when you get a surprise each day of the year. I mean, out of the year, of December. <laughs> I'm a baby, so I don't know actually all the rules. But Mom told me that with the advent calendar for 24 days, you get a present. What? I definitely want <gasps> an adorable little Santa toy. Oh, my gosh. Now I have to come back every single day and get the treasures that you can from the um Twilight Daycare advent calendar. They're so cute. Daisy, Daisy. Marty, that's not me. What? Yes, yes it is. Nope, that's someone that looks just like me. See, there's another one over there. Holy guacamole, everyone looks like you. I know, it's kind of crazy, right? Totally, now where is my little Santa toy? Oh, look at this little Santa plush. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Did you get this from your advent calendar, Daisy? Yeah, I love him. He's adorable. Yeah, he totally is. I cannot believe today is the last day that we have to go to daycare before it's break time. Break for what, Molly? For Christmas, duh. See what you see? Yep, and it's early dismissal. Look, it's playground time. Let's go, Molly. Okay, I'm going to take my cute little Santa with me. Little Santa, you're so cute. I'm so excited today is early dismissal. Um, Here, Santa, I'm going to put you over here so I don't get you dirty. Daisy, did you know today is early dismissal? What? Why? Because it's almost time for Christmas. Hi, girls. Good morning. Who's ready for Christmas? Me. I'm ready. Oh, that's amazing. I bet you guys are going to have the best Christmas ever. I hope so. Come on, Daisy. Let's go play. Molly, I'm thirsty. You're always thirsty. Don't be thirsty. It's time to play. Molly, no. I need something to drink. You can have something to drink after recess. This is going to be so fun. I've got a blue kite. Oh, man. Now I'm kind of thirsty. Told you, Molly. Ew. What's that smell? It smells like a dirty baby diaper. Uh, oopsie. Ew. D Daisy poop out her pants. Gross. Daisy, are you going to play with kites? Uh, actually, maybe you should stay there because you have poo poo in your diaper and it might fall out. Oh, that would be so gross. I don't. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? I pooped my pants. Oh, yeah, you were so judgy about me doing it. Now look, you pooped your pants. Oh, sweet little baby. What's wrong, Molly? <laughs> I pooped my pants and I need a bath and I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, hush, little baby, don't you cry. I'm gonna sing you a lullaby. La 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 No, that didn't make it better! Whoa, I've got myself a grumpy one. Holy guacamole. All right, well, let's start with giving you something to eat. You sound very hungry. I am hungry. I need something to eat right away. Okay, shh, 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 shh. No need to cry. Here you go. Here comes the airplane. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> I got all over and I need a diaper change and a bath and a bottle. I need a bottle too. Wow, you need a lot today, Molly. Ah, good thing it's early dismissal. Then you'll be your parents' problem for a whole two weeks. Are you saying that you don't like spending time with me? Um, no, <laughs> not exactly. Mmm, mmm, ah. I'm just saying every once in a while, we need a break. Break? Pfft. Ew! I don't want you to take a break. I want to hang out with you forever. Oh, it's okay, baby. I'll be back to see you right after Christmas. Bah! <laughs> All right, here you go. One more bottle of milk. Your tummy should be so full now. Is it? Uh-huh. Except for I still went potty in my pants. Oh, no. Wow. Look at the time. It'll be time for your mom to come get you soon enough. But we better put you on the potty and get you all cleaned up. <laughs> Guess I wasn't done yet. Guess not. Ew, pretty gross. Okay, are you all done, Molly? Uh-huh, I'm done. Can I have a bath now? Sure, let's get you all clean. Oh, <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> splash, splash. No splashing 
me, Molly. I don't, I don't want to be, um, I'm not able to splash. I like to splash. All right. How about a nap? Come on. You can go lay down for a little bit. A nap on an early dismissal? No fair. <laughs> oh, yucky. You might need to have your teeth brushed first. Blah, you're stinky, stinky. Uh, okay. Wait, I forgot where I was going. Okay, yeah, I have to go, like, it says your mouth is smelly, so I guess we have to brush your teeth or something. Let's go find out. There we go. All right, brush, brush, brush. Ew, look at your teeth, yucky. All right, there you go. Now you can go take a nap. Excuse me, I'm taking care of Molly. Da, 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 da. Go to sleep, little baby. I will, I promise. All right, well, make sure you stay in your bed, please. Uh-huh, I will. <laughs> ah, nothing like some pranks. Now, where is Daisy? I've got to make sure she's gone potty. Oh, <laughs> water balloons. <laughs> okay, take a smash. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I love being naughty. Excuse me, Molly, if you don't stop it, you're literally going to end up on Santa's naughty list. What? Me? Never. Yes, exactly you. Now, come on. You have to go for a timeout. What? A timeout on early dismissal? Are you serious? Yeah, I think actually you're the only child that's ever gotten a timeout on an early dismissal before Christmas. Well, you know, I have goals and stuff. Oh, Molly, what are we going to do with you? Why are you dressed like a unicorn? Because at Christmas time, I love being a unicorn. Are you going to take me up to baby jail or what? Uh, yeah. I was thinking about letting you get out of it, but mm, I don't think so. Well, where are we going then? Never mind. I'm so sleepy. I think I'm just going to fall asleep right in your arms. Well, I guess we can make an exception this time. No baby jail for you, since it seems to me that you were just really tired and that's why you were so naughty. Now go straight to sleep, little girl. What a little prankster. She fell asleep with the water balloon in her hand. I don't want to take it from her because it might wake her up. Ah, I just woke up and I'm cranky. <laughs> and gassy. <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> Daisy, I want to go home. Hi, you too, Molly. I thought it was early dismissal. May I have your attention, please? This is Twilight Daycare's principal, Smith, and I want to say that uh, you all should have a very happy Christmas vacation. Guys, today you're going to be dismissed in about five minutes, so be waiting at the doors so your parents can arrive. Did you hear that, Daisy? It's time to leave. I've never been so happy in my life, except for I still want my mommy. Where is she? Mommy! <laughs> Where are you, Mommy? Mommy! Molly, I'm standing right behind you. Huh? What? Mommy! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you! Whoa, everyone just keeps trying to run us over because they're picking up their kids right now. Come over here, honey. Okay, are you ready for Christmas? Okay, stop running over my kid! Oh my gosh! Or you're gonna go to baby jail. Grown-up jail. You can't just... Stop it! Why do you keep running us over? She's rude! Okay, let's go over here by the balloons, Mom. What were you saying? Are you ready for Christmas to start? Totally! Why you look so sad, sweetie? Well, I never thought it would get here. But now that it is, I'm just so happy! <laughs> Aw, okay, let's go find Daisy. I'm by heel. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to find either one of you. Let's go! The day is over. You two are dismissed, and it's time to go home. Yay! Daisy, we get to go home! Wait, I don't, I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, Molly, are you okay? I don't feel so good either. 
Uh oh! <laughs> Ew, Daisy! <laughs> Molly! Oh no, my girls caught the stomach flu right before Christmas! Oh really? Yeah, my kid had that last week. Oh no. Okay, well girls, I guess we'll go home and you can use the barf bucket. Oh man, sick for Christmas? Ugh, that stinks. Oh, sorry lady, you just keep standing on top of me, so I had to throw up on you. 